Nino Rota's music has really his own language. He has very lyrical passages, he has very playful passages. Of course, he's very well known for his film music, but he brings, I think, this sonata, he brings it all together in one, one piece. Um, so once you have great lyrical passage, then it's, it needs another spirit, another character. So he's always playing with this around. has changes of mood, like you have changes of scenes in the, in the movies. It's happening often, in, in, also in his classical pieces, and we're not familiar with, so this is where we have to work on those turns mm -hmm. and those curves, uh, so that we catch this and we set the, the mood right away. So it's the challenge, is to get the, yeah, uh, to get the key mm -hmm. right away. You don't have yeah. the opening phrase in Just order to, to, to get into the piece. No, you have to be there. Right switch the on beginning. the button, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There are not many works uh, for harp and flute of those proportions in three movements. Most of them are actually um, more of like fantasies or rhapsody pieces in one movement, um, not as well structured as, as this work. And I think structure is a key word when, when it comes to classical music approach by Nino Rota, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and and it is, is really something that gives a nice, well-built three movement uh, yet compact in its form, but very steady and brilliant uh, sonata for, for both Absolutely. instruments. And I think, just if I may add it, sonata I think is like a miniature version of the harp concerto that will be also on the CD. I think the, how he built the sonata is very, very similar character-wise, and so there is a unity there. Nino Rota has written a beautiful solo piece for the harp, only one, unfortunately, except for, of course, for the harp concerto. Uh, it's a wonderful work uh, of, in two parts, very contrasting two parts. One is a sarabonda, then a toccata. And obviously in the uh, sarabonda we get very lyrical themes, uh, very fluent lines, um, almost as if you don't feel bars, it just the melodies are going on forever and ever. Um, but always in this childish light way and then the toccata is more rhythmical more playful so it's I think it's a very maybe a nice mirror of his um, the way he writes compact in one solo piece for harp It was really a great show. I've been looking forward to this project. Um, it's really special to be able to record this sonata with Emmanuel. I've been admiring him for years and then to be actually uh, make music together, it's wonderful and it has been a very natural and joyful process. You know, we, we share the same stages, the same conductors, we develop uh, certain rules of the game uh, in orchestras and in Vienna and Berlin. It's the same musical world in which we're, we're, we're moving around. So, so all of that makes it really easy. But something that strikes me really when, when Aline is playing is how everything seems to be so natural, how the position of the body, the instrument, there's an adequation that is so immediate. Mm -hmm. 